The Pizovsky deposit is located approximately 220 kilometers from the city's capital, Ner Sultan, with the neighboring towns Bestob and Isabilno. Pizovsky is a copper gold deposit made up of three composites, in which one makes up 95% of the total feed. The primary copper bearing minerals are chalcosite and iodite, with chalcosite being the primary ore body, with an overall grade of 3.94% copper and 0.345 grams per tonne gold. The mine supplies the ore body at 7.85 million tonnes per annum. From the ROM, the ore body is crushed via jaw crusher and stockpiled. Feeders beneath the stockpile feed the ore into the mill at 943 tonnes per hour into a closed SABC circuit to produce a final P80 of 150 micron. The feed is then conditioned at 35 weight percent solids and enters a rougher scavenger bank containing 10 cells. The scavenger concentrates are reground in closed circuit in a bore mill and fed back to the head of the circuit. The rougher concentrates are sent to the cleaner circuit. The cleaner concentrate is then classified with the underflow being grinded by an ISA mill and the overflow going directly to a Jamison cell with the tailings going to a recleaner Jamison cell. The tailings from the Jamo are then fed back to the scavenger circuit. The concentrate is then thickened to 60 weight percent solids and then to a filter press with a residual 10% moisture. The concentrate is then transported to the smelter. The concentrate is mixed with silica flux and coal where it is pelletized and gravity fed to the top of an ISA smelt. Enriched oxygen is mixed into the smelter via lance. Off-gas produced is drawn through to waste heat boilers where heat is recovered, turning water into steam and the energy being recovered. The cooled off-gas passes through an electrostatic precipitator where dust is removed. The remaining off-gas is sent to a sulfuric acid plant to produce sulfuric acid. The molten bath product from the ISA smelt is then transported to the electric settling furnace where the slag and mat are separated and tapped out. The 60 weight percent copper mat product from the smelter is then transported via ladles to the Pierce Smith converters. Silica flux is also added and oxygen is blown in to further remove iron. Periodically the slag content in the converter is empty. This process is iterated to produce white metal. Oxygen is then blown in again to produce 99% copper liquid. The slag produced from both the Isa smelt and converter are transported to the slag dam. The off-gas produced from the converter is treated in the same way as that of the Isa smelt. The copper liquid is transported to the anode furnace where oxygen is blown and then methane to remove sulfur and oxygen respectively. Oxides formed in the anode furnace are skimmed off and returned to the converter. The contents of the anode furnace are then flowed via launder to the casting wheel where copper anodes cast at a purity of 99.8% copper. The anodes are prepared in an anode preparation machine to ensure they're all the same mass and dimensions. Sets of anodes are put into the electro-refining cells. In between each anode is a blank steel cathode. The cathodes undergo copper plating, whereby they strip the copper off the anodes. What's left of the anodes in the cell are sent to the Pierce Smith converters for recycling. As plating occurs, the impurities such as gold, silver and selenium settle to the bottom of the tank. They are decanted and sold to customers. Other soluble impurities dissolve in the electrolyte and are bled out. The loaded cathodes are transferred to the cathode preparation unit and the plated copper is mechanically stripped from the stainless steel. The now LME grade cathodes are packaged and transferred to our customers.